Rick Lukasevich, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Zonit. So for our readers who may not be familiar with Zonit, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys do? Zonit is a manufacturer based in Boulder, Colorado, and we focus on two primary product areas. One is top-of-stack PDUs, we call the PDS, where you can get a phase-balanced, single-phase, split-single-phase, or three-phase in five seconds up and running at the rack level. The primary product that we're focusing on is our micro-automatic transfer switch. It's one of a kind, there's not a competitor to it, and it really is a place that you can look at a transfer switch capability at the 1 to 8 U level and be able to do it on a per device level in closets and data centers. So tell us a little bit more about how this works. Uh, the micro automatic transfer switch, the micro ATS, uh, it comes in 120 and today at the AFCOM show we're announcing the 2A240 version. And it is, it's a 1U transfer switch. This is what it looks like. And it has an A and a B uh, cords to it. This is the 208 version. And it always, it always resides on A, but we start on B, shift to A, and we always are, when we go back and forth, we'll shift under a cycle. But when we reside on B, we'll really focus on is the A of quality, we'll, look at it also and we'll balance the phase. If the phases are out of sync when shifting B to A, A to B, we'll also do that phase shifting also. Uh, it does have five LEDs for monitoring on it. It does have a reset button that's only activated if it should be activated so somebody doesn't accidentally shift it also. Okay. And uh, what, uh, who are the kind of folks who might uh, find the most use for this? Uh, primarily it's data centers and telecom closets. We're finding a lot of other uh, non-traditional uses because it's, uh, it's a generic product that can be applied different ways, but in a data center it's either uh, one example is when we have dense racks and people were using one to four U just for transfer switches. This enables them to roll out one to four more servers or devices they want. And we've had clients that have tens to thousands of racks that are able to roll out tens to thousands more servers or devices increasing their capacities. And it would be taking out those four transfer switches and putting one of these on each of the servers in the rack. The second use case is really in data centers where somebody may be, for example, at 208 and have a sporadic use of single corded 208 or 120 devices and they can just go on a per device where they need it versus using a whole U for that transfer switch capability. The third use case is really in, in wiring closets where most often it'll be a top of stack ethernet switch running the data and the voice, bottom of stack UPS and to navigate that the, the customer a lot of times doesn't want to use a fifteen seventeen hundred dollar redundant power supply option for the Ethernet switch, they'll want to use something like this. So it's an inexpensive device, be able to use at a point and be able to provide that functionality down to the UPS so they still can do their maintenance schedule for that device. Um, what else haven't we covered? What's, uh, what else is interesting about the, the micro ATS? Uh, it's uh, one, it's a one of a kind. We've been uh, producing the, excuse me, we've been engineering the product for about four years. It took until last June for us to provide the 120 version, and there's a lot of intricacy uh, to the product, and 120 days later, we're already shipping the 208-240 version in about 30 days. Uh, the micro ATS, it just works. So I, although I, we may want to fly in engineers and cli to clients, uh, each client so far, small to large, uh, we've never had a failure in the market. We've never had uh, a failure in alpha, beta, or uh, production units. And it's a product that's very stable, very secure. Okay. Awesome, Rick. Thanks so much for giving us an overview of, uh, tell us a little bit about Zonit and give us an overview of the micro ATS. Well, thank you for your time.